Welcome to Edupedia World. In this video, we will discuss about meaning and objectives of dispersion. In previous chapter, we learned about measure of central tendency as that value of the data which is capable to represent the universe. Averages simplify the complex data and make the study easy. Yet, averages suffer from a great limitation that these do not give complete detail or information of the data. The actual values may differ from the average value. The average value does not reveal the variability present in the data. In this chapter, we will study about such differences or dispersion. What is dispersion? Dispersion is the extent to which values in a distribution differ from the average of the distribution. Let us understand this with the help of the definitions. According to Dr. Bolling, dispersion is the measure of the variation of the items. According to Spiegel, the degree to which numerical data tend to spread about an average value is called the variation or dispersion of the data. And according to L. R. Connor, dispersion is a measure of the extent to which the individual items vary. From these definitions, it is clear that dispersion means the scatter of the values in a given distribution. Let us understand dispersion with the help of a following example. Three friends, Ram, Rahim and Maria, are chatting over a cup of tea. During the course of their conversation, they start talking about their family incomes. Ram tells them that there are four members in his family and the average income per member is rupees 15,000. Rahim says that the average income is the same in his family though the number of members is six. Maria says that there are five members in a family out of which one is not working. She calculates that the average income in her family too is rupees 15,000. They are a little surprised since they know that Maria's father is earning a huge salary. They go into details and gather the following data. You can see in the table that average income is the same but there are considerable differences in individual incomes. It is quite obvious that averages try to tell only one aspect of distribution that is a representative size of the values. To understand it better you need to know the spread of values too. You can see that in Ram's family differences in incomes are comparatively lower. In Rahim's family differences are higher and in Maria's family the differences are the highest. Knowledge of only average is insufficient. If you have another value which reflects the quantum of variation in values, your understanding of a distribution improves considerably. For example, per capita income gives only the average income. A measure of dispersion can tell you about income inequalities thereby improving the understanding of the relative standards of living enjoyed by different strata of society. 
Next, we come to objectives of measurement of dispersion. As we have seen in the example that the measure of central tendency is not sufficient to describe a distribution of values. Hence, we need to have a measure of dispersion. Following are some of the objectives of having measures of dispersion. First objective, to check the reliability of the average. Through measures of dispersion, we try to find out whether the average so calculated represents the series truly or not. Measures of dispersion are used to test to what extent an average represents the characteristics of a series. A low value of dispersion implies that there is greater degree of homogeneity among various items and consequently the average can be taken as more reliable or representative of the distribution. On the other hand, if the dispersion is large, then the data values are more deviated from the central value, thereby implying that the average is not representative of the data and hence not quite reliable. Next objective, to know the extent of variation. Through the measures of dispersion, we want to find out the degree of variation between the actual value and the average value of the series. If variation is huge, it would mean that the average value is not capable to represent the series. It aims to find out degree of uniformity or consistency in two or more sets of data. A high degree of variations would mean little uniformity or consistency whereas a low degree of variation would mean greater uniformity or consistency. The study of variation helps to analyze the reason and causes of variations. This may be helpful in controlling the variations itself. Next objective, to compare dispersion of two or more sets of data or series. Through measure of dispersion, we can make comparison between two or more series with respect to disparity between them. Greater dispersion means less stability and vice versa. Last objective, to facilitate statistical analysis. Through measures of dispersion, we can compute important statistical techniques. For example, regression, correlation, skewness, etc. This increases the accuracy of these statistical studies. These are some of the objectives of dispersion. Next, we come to characteristics of dispersion. A measure of dispersion actually should possess all the characteristics of a good average because it is the average of second order. So, an ideal measure of dispersion should be first, unaffected by fluctuations in sampling so that we may have an overall summary measure of dispersion. Second, rigidly defined so that it is easy to apply the measure to study the variation. Third, it is based on all observations of the series so that all the items are given equal importance. Next, it is easy to understand so that it is simple to comprehend. Fifth point, easy to calculate and simple to apply so that one can easily find the variation between the actual value and an average value. And the last characteristic, capable of further algebraic treatment so that statistical analysis like skewness, correlation, regression can be studied. These are some of the characteristics of dispersion. Measures of dispersion. There are two measures of dispersion. Absolute measure and relative measure. 
first we will discuss absolute measure of dispersion the measure of dispersion which are expressed in terms of original units of a given set of data or series are known as absolute measures of dispersion in other words the absolute measures are measured in the same unit as given with the variables thus if we are considering variation of income in rupees the absolute measures range quartile deviation mean deviation standard deviation of income will be in rupees absolute measures are expressed in concrete units that is in terms of which the variables have been expressed like rupees inches meters kilograms etc this feature of measures of dispersion may create difficulty if variables are not of same average size absolute measures of dispersion are not comparable if the average size of the variable is different for example comparison between a manager's salary and a worker's salary next variables are not expressed in the same units absolute measures of dispersion are not comparable if two sets of data are compared in different units for example it is difficult to compare the dispersion of income in india measured in rupees with income in america measured in dollars in order to overcome this difficulty it is desirable to eliminate the units of measurement by using relative measure of dispersion next we come to relative measure of dispersion when the dispersion of a series is measured as a percentage or ratio of the average it is termed as relative measure of dispersion in other words the relative measures are measured as coefficient or a pure number which does not depend on the units of measurement this measure is known as coefficient of variation thus if we are considering income wages height etc as a ratio or in terms of percentage we are referring to relative measures of dispersion these measures are expressed as a percentage or ratio of the average this feature of measures of dispersion help us to use relative measure of dispersion when two or more series have to be compared these series may be different central values average size of variables and or different units of measurement this is the two measures of dispersion that is absolute and relative measure that we have discussed thank you for watching edupedia world videos